Hello, everyone. Welcome to General Mesh Simulation Course. The focus of this section is Split and create clothing mesh in DCC. Solve the effect debugging, render the film. And explanation of production requirements and specifications. First, we need to have two parts, the body and the costume. And detach them. Let's move on to the costume. You can see that they're scattered now. So we need to merge it into a whole, the same goes for dresses. Attention, the lines here are relatively dense, and we need to remove the dense lines to make the wiring even. Then merge vertices. Skirts also need to be merged. We repeat this procedure. Now merge the top and skirt and export FBX. In here we have a Unreal Engine project ready. Now we need to import the mesh into Unreal Engine. When importing, skeletal mesh needs to be checked here. Click Import and wait for the import to succeed. Double click the imported mesh, check it. Right click and select Style 3D Actions. Select Create Style 3D Asset. Check Create Piece from Connection. After checking, the garment is divided by mesh, there will be more. Uncheck, clothing split in section, small amount, equal to the number of materials set in Maya. Select Optimize Rest Shape and change the Rest Shape residual value to 10. The larger the value, the closer it is to the original mesh UV. Wait for the conversion success. Double click to open it and check it out. Check UV. Now let's add costumes to the characters. Click Add, search for Style 3D and select, mount the component under body. Choose Clothing. And click on Bind, Group, Save. Style 3D Runtime changed to Garment Cache Record. Click on Play. And you can see the skirt falling down. Double click to open the garment asset handling waistband. Hold shift and right click hide. Click waistband. Check is frozen and enable attach in the style 3D window. Right click show all and save. Click on play. And now the skirt doesn't fall down anymore. There's something wrong with the arm. Note collision group is not set correctly. Open the asset and modify the collision group settings. The back also needs modification. Modify complete, save, close. And play again. There's nothing wrong with it. Style 3D runtime changed to garment cache play. Click on play, view the effect. Now open the sequence and add characters, animation, style 3D, and garment cache. Add cache files, play them back, and view them. Manually adjust the progress bar and add the camera. Click to render. OK, this is the end of our operation. Let's take a look at the production requirements and specifications for general mesh simulation. Mesh spacing should be maintained evenly, without using hard edges or thickness. When the hard edge is imported into UE, vertices between connected grids need to be merged. If not merged, the simulation will be scatter and need to arrange the UV properly. UV can't use stretching, expansion brush and other tools. It is necessary to keep the UV shape basically close to the original mesh size, without small mesh blocks. If the grid block is small, it will be lost after entering the Unreal Engine. Reverse and overlapping UV can't occur, you can use UDIM.
Well, that's all for this lesson. You are welcome to like the video, share it, participate in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.